So welcome back to the channel everybody. Uh, we're down here in Florida, Sanibel, right off of Blind Pass, the beautiful beach right here. And if you look back at our videos guys from last year, uh, this beach was a lot bigger than it was now. You should really look at that last video and check out the erosion. And what we're doing, we're out here today and we're going to show you guys some seashells and stuff that we're finding. A lot of our videos that you see us in, you've been asking questions about, well, why don't we not ever have anybody around you? Well, today we do. This beach is loaded and they're looking for these shells and they're looking for these beach finds just like us. And what I've got so far on our walk. And I got like an auger. Big oh yeah, auger. that's a nice one. Yeah, I have big auger. a pretty good size of um, in here too. Some more beautiful scallops. Yeah. Look at the patterns and I got a little little big one right fighting there. Conk Look at the patterns here. in that big one with them. Awesome. These and I got beautiful. this one. This one's the one with little spiky oh, things yeah, on it. Prickly cockle. Yep. I got a little fighting conk. Awesome. Then I picked this conk. up. I'm gonna have to put it back. I'm pretty sure that this shell and this shell right here, they're probably still alive. Wow. So that's you what I was saying. I'm gonna put it back. Oh, I just picked it up to show y'all. I mean, do you know that shell's already in danger? <laughs> Of people like you taking them, I had to get her. Five <laughs> I had to get her. We just out here having fun. Just like research for a second. She was just showing it to you. Come That's on. right. But look at this. Look at this. And I know a lot of you love to hear these beach sounds, these beach waves. You think we can find anything washing in right here? show you guys a lot of what we're seeing here at least some of the ones I know little kittens paw little pear welt busted up lots of the arc shells we're seeing the scallops and different things mixed in and some beauties Little tiny. They're going shallow. So check this guy out right here. What type of crab is this guy? Stinky. It's stinky. It's a big one. It is a big one. Big jingle. Almost clear stuff. Yep. How about this? Oh, there's some sea pork. Oh, yeah, there's some sea pork. The one we usually see on the beaches in South Carolina are oranger color than this. If you've seen some of our other videos, you've seen them. Like almost clear, translucent color. Red type of seaweed here. Red type here. of seaweed. Hmm. There's another one of those crabs that I see on his claws. It's the same kind. Big pin shell. Broad rib carditas, jingles, there's tons of that up here. There's a lot less shells up on the beach than when we were here last year. I think we got better shells than uh, they got down here in Florida, right in South Carolina, if you know where to go. I Don't get mad at me, don't call me out on that. I'm just saying, we got bigger shells. We just like the big shells, that's right. <laughs> we're, we're spoiled, we like the big shells. No. Look. We can't pick on you guys. Y'all have some beauties down here also. Some but y'all have a lot more competition for your shells, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Ours are like a good kept secret, so. Y'all don't tell anybody. 
Yeah, don't tell nobody where we're finding our shells. If you're watching our channel, do not tell anybody where we're finding our shells. Just tell them. Or look here. Look us. at this. Oh, another sea urchin. Sea urchin. It's probably already dead. Yeah, it's up here, way up on uh, the No movement. And you can take this thing home and let it dry out. And it's stinky in the drying out process. Yeah. But. Oh, look at this black They firm up pretty good. It's like a black color sea pork. Wow. Is that that? What's it called? The whale poop? No, I don't think so. The ambergus? The ambergus? And just to see if this guy's alive, y'all, I was, I was touching around his mouth with this little shell just to see if I saw any kind of movement whatsoever. But other than me moving him, he's not like drawing in or moving. I don't see any of his other little, um, I don't even know what they're called, but the appendages sticking out around this, he's dried up. So this one is deceased, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Good for us, bad for him. Tons of shells right here. shell another smaller one and smaller one another piece of that black sea pork it was just stuck on that with sticks i picked it up with that and a sea cucumber it's not really drawing up either i'm gonna put him back in the water and a paper fig hey ma'am you're shelling too close to us well matter of fact i do pay taxes but it's just not in Florida. In Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so, Not in Florida. Well, sir, since you've had a camera, can you tell me what this is? Wow, what is that? That looks like the horse conch eggs, maybe. It's an egg sack. So that's probably what that piece of I had a while ago is the same thing. I see these same ripples. So this is probably the horse conch egg sack, I think. But you guys correct us if we're, if we're, if I'm not correct. We're gonna look through this, make sure there's not, but you see all the openings. So it's already hatched. You want it? And this is a paper fig that's broken. These are really, really delicate. So surprised to even find one that whole. That's my mama. You look like you're sweating awfully bad out. <laughs> you got some sunblock on, so it's Woo! keeping that sweat in. It runs in the family. We sweat a lot. Wow, the trash in this water. Some like type of seaweed worms. and stuff. Yeah, oh, look at the guys out on the paddleboard. That's pretty cool. We're getting to go work out through these waves. You ain't joking. He's got to be pretty balanced. There he went. He went off, and it's still only about waist deep there, 75 yards from the bank. That's pretty cool. Tons of these little worm um, tube casings on here and see Everybody. on our beach um a lot of these are covered in the coquinas so maybe it's a different type of worm so what do you do on a crowded beach whenever you're walking down it uh, with a camera talking to yourself you try to ease away from the crowd and try not to draw too much attention to yourself, right, Steph? Uh, I ain't even really worried about that. <laughs> she ain't worried about it. But I am because I'm talking the camera. That's okay. I'm talking to you in a camera, so. <laughs> and all our saltaholics. That's right. Y'all want us to carry you along, right? So we just do, do what you? we gotta do. Oh, look, it's a perculum. Steph's got it's a big perculum. Oh, and look, it's got a slipper on it. It's actually not really attached, so. I am going to put it back in the and water. Explain the a perculum to the ones that don't know what a perculum is. Steph. Um, it is the trap door of the univalves. 
So all these that I have in my hands and all the ones I'm seeing around me right now are bivalves. They have a second pair, you know. Univalve like the whelk shells, right. right? And these are, so this is probably a lightning whelk or perculum, the trap door that keeps the animal protected when he sucks himself back into the shell. Right in the opening? I'm not seeing many shells out here. I'm not seeing many shells. I am seeing a lot of shells. It's just a lot of the same little shells. Lots of these pretty little coquina pears, the little butterfly looking shells. I mean, it ain't that I'm really worried about how many shells I'm seeing anyhow because I'm just enjoying this beautiful view around me and look at all these beautiful colors of the water down here which is a lot different than our area back in South Carolina where we have the muddy waters. I see you know several shades where it's coming out of the river kind of muddy looking through here a little further out I see an aqua color and then even a deeper darker blue. some trash out there and it stuff yeah it's just a lot of this like seagrass the leaves and your know, roots and stuff like that that's right i'll put that a perculum back but it drops off pretty steep there i guess their erosion hey buddy you've been pretty you catching strong. anything you don't want to talk you don't want to be heard jumping he probably didn't hear me that probably wind was blowing i wanted to see if he was catching anything might not even talking to him. I don't know. People might not talk to each other like we do back in South Carolina. You know, no, but true. this is the South, but so look at the I don't know. Do they have the Southern hospitality like we true Southerners have in South Carolina? <laughs> it, it depends on who you talk to because some will tell you since they're probably people that are transplants and not originally from the South, they may not have that Southern hospitality because they're just not from here. They're learning it though, probably, hopefully, from their good um, southern neighbors that are teaching them to be nice. And I bet they're loving it too. Look at these slipper here and the leafy one. The leafy jewel box is what that one's called, like the spiny jewel box, but that one's just a, a different. Now, how shape. did you learn that? Uh, YouTube, I can't, all probably. I see is a shell. YouTube is probably how I learned it. You see it? No, I can't. I, I think there's lots it. of those in Holden Beach, too. I see it, but I don't mean I know what it is. The leafy jewel box. How about this one right here? What is this one? Now, oh, what would this be? An arc. Is it just... That's, like, just, the, that's a, just that coating that's on the edges of them when they're still alive. Oh, okay. How about this here? Oh, look Park, here part of a... Wilk dead casing. That's right. Most likely in this area, lightning wilk, since right. they are more common to have lightning wilks. And I'm going to shake it. Sand, probably, I hear some sand, probably. I hear some sand, but I don't, I can't tell if there's any babies in it. Sometimes if you hold them up in the sunlight, you will be able to see the little baby whelks in them. This one here, probably not mature enough to have the little small whelks in it yet. No, the, the holes are open. These have already hatched. Oh, okay. That's see what the happened. holes, and if you, they're, they are I in like a I thought there spiral. might have been one, like, trapped in at least or something maybe. then maybe but that's okay we ain't gonna do it. it's like leather we're not gonna be able to tear it open right now but you can see but the yeah, little the, holes yeah where it's come out and if i get them like they're they come in a spiral but if you get it lined up you can see all the holes are like in a pattern and they twist and roll up. across right. the ocean floor just you know dispensing the little tiny shells all over that's right when those baby shells are ready to be born that little area where that opening is opens up. It's kind of like mom giving birth. How about this here? Awesome. Piece of driftwood that a lot of the little shells have bored these holes into and I'm Paddock clams, is that what they are? Well, the I'm little angel wings? Like, just pull one out, look. 
So that's why it's caused all these little holes in this piece of driftwood they bored into it. He has types of little paddock clams. Pretty cool. Lot, lots of life. The same family the angel wings are in. Same family? Now that's a piece of sea sponge there, isn't it, Steph? Yeah. That's part of the dead man sea fingers. It's just real small. Right. Broken off. Broken off piece. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing much down this beach at all, guys. erosion look at this sea urchin it's definitely all dead and he's already. almost lost all this spine yep or she he uh, i'm not sure how about that piece of sea sponge right here that's pretty cool yeah i'm not sure about the, the sexing of sea urchins somebody probably knows y'all tell us are there male and female sea urchins let somebody else walk by and take a look at it we don't need it, right, Steph? I don't know why you're picking up all them shells. Well, I'd probably like to keep a handful for me, and I'd probably like to keep a handful for these guys. Another one of those horse comp egg sacks? Yep. And I'm looking, it does look like it's all empty and it's dried out. Watch the, you can hear it like crinkling. Piece of the horseshoe crab. Oh, and this right here is a different type of egg. Not sure. Look how it's kind of curly. Hmm. And I do see the little holes in it. So the same thing. It looks like it's already hatched out. I see little holes all over it where it's. I don't feel anything firm in it. That's cool. A little muscle. Yeah, your mom found one of those earlier to showing me too. You saw the holics didn't see it though. Look how pretty. How about the cockle? This is a decent sized cockle, one of the bigger ones that we've seen since we've been down here in Florida. You know, we find them big old cockles uh, right along the coast of South Carolina with you guys. And this one's a little broke up and battered. We'll just leave it here. Let somebody else come by and take a look at it. Maybe they'll grab for it like I did and think it's a whole shell. What you think, Steph? Yeah, probably. So look at this one. Looks like it's got the little, it looks like the little leafy jewel box growing there on this kitten's paw. Not sure if that's how they attach and grow or not. Because we are not experts, guys. We are just beach lovers who like to take you guys along with us when we go shelling and out to the beach, so guys leave us comments correct us if you need to we don't take it to heart it's okay we're all wrong sometimes tell us if we're wrong let's get back down to the beach with our family stuff Is it dad? this one's actually one's still alive. alive this one's a little piece of one but i was just gonna tell it to them yeah I it was. and a broken piece that we found the inside of it Oh, nice. Wow, that's beautiful. Do you mind if I show them on camera? Or yeah. Is it okay if you show them in your hand? Yeah. It's got a nice tulip shell, a lightning whelk, and a juvenile Florida fighting comp. Awesome. Look at what awesome another one in here. She said she's got you another one too. You all know your names. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we went to the show museum, but we didn't memorize them. It's a little bit Oh, a murex. Got a nice apple murex. Turn it over, if you will. That's yeah, that is a nice one. Some nice finds. That's where I find today. Thank you for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. Where are y'all from? South Carolina. All right, look what we've come up on. Second one ever. Mermaid's purse. This one is definitely open already. See if you guys can see that hole in it. See the sand on the other side very cool second mermaid's purse ever and oh, oliver man. spotted it too I told awesome. you to stick with me. that's right we're trying some sea treasures now. Yeah. 
this clear water. So this would be a good spot to check as well. You have to just stand here and kind of watch as the waves roll by and try to grab it. That's what those scoopers are great for. Once we get right back around here to our family, I'm gonna try to get in the water a little bit, cool off, see what else we can find. Got really pretty scallops there though. Tons of pretty scallops. Look at this coquina right here. Like a little miniature sun ray venus almost. And as you see, lots of people enjoying the beach at Blind Pass goes over to Captiva there. Awesome. Look at here. This pin shell. And it's got five animals growing on it. There's one, two slippers there, another two slippers there, and one slipper there by itself. So we'll put him back in the water too. I have the sea urchin that I just picked up it looks like it's probably alive too so this water right here is all kind of really shallow but over here by this bridge there was one really deep spot i'm gonna drop him back in that i keep dipping him in the water you caught something nathan i didn't jamie caught a snook oh okay jamie caught a snook they said no, so. I didn't even get to see catch no snook. we missed it so let's that get over here I'm, I'm see so if we can get with them i am disappointed now for sure out here messing around doing this shelling and stuff didn't even get to see that big old snook being caught we saw some while we were snorkeling the other day too bad i did not bring the waterproof part for the camera to take with you guys under the water i don't know if the visibility would have been that clear for y'all to see anyway does she have a picture that she could share with us i bet today? we'll see when i can add it in this is such a disaster Hey, how about Daniel, my son Daniel, first time ever this morning. Caught a big old uh, Jack Cavell. He was probably a 15 pounder, 10, 15 pounder. I have no way of estimating. And that was over by Cape Coral. Where's the snook? Where's the snook? Hey, I found an urchin though. Where's the snook? Yeah, there. Hello, our family. Yes. Where's all the kids? Baby. Oh God, where's the baby? She's right there. I see, Ben. We saw her protection shirt on. Her didn't win. Her turtle shirt. You found a. She found one of them too. Them urchins. Y'all playing? All right. Uh oh, she got a sticker in her foot. Woo, having fun. Let me see what you found, Emma. Show it to me. Oh, you got a big arc shell. Those are pretty. That is a big one. You need to keep it, okay? Oh, that's pretty. That's you liked right. it? You look like you've been having fun playing in the sand. And again, you brown pan. <laughs> All right, Nathan came walking back up with his fine while ago. Let's see what he got. Look at there huge lightning whelk out here all these people on the beach there's he still had a great find good job nathan awesome your mama's gonna love that happy's chasing olivia trying to get her applesauce tootie you gonna give him some of your chocolate chip cake yeah okay olivia says she's got an arc shell beautiful hey olivia did you forget you was running away from me <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys salty don't always mean good check us out Emma, what you salty back there and sandy? You don't like it? We going to another beach. We about to get sandy again, okay? They don't want to go to another beach. She said yes, she does. She does. does? Happy. Well, good lord, that's my little granddaughter back there. How about there. you, Odie? You ready to get to another beach? No. 
He said no. Odie he's said a, he's had enough of the sun. You ready though, ain't you? Odie's real salty. Oh yeah. You can tell Odie's salty by the way he yeah. acts. What is this called right here? This area. We're in the Sanibel Causeway. We're in the Sanibel Causeway. I'm looking crazy from swimming. Stephanie's looking crazy from swimming. She's been snorkeling out here and she wants to show you guys this Florida fighting conch. It's alive. See the little eyes right here on the end of it? Look at that. And there's lots of them out there in the water, but this one was just like all out and about. So I was just trying to. Is that his nose right there under his eyes? Or his mouth. Huh. And then this is a perculum. He's using it. He's like trying to let me put him down and I'm going to him as soon as I get done showing you. And there's a little Murex. Wow. And it's alive too. You better not pull it off that shelf. No, stuff. I know. Don't disturb No, a while ago he was like is looking at me. Is that the apple Murex? I believe so. His eyes are right there too. But look, check this out. Wow. I don't know if that's like a fossilized wintel trap of some sort or. That's a huge one. I know. And then this one you right gonna here is alive. You're going to keep this one? You're no, going to keep yeah, this I'm going to keep that one. But I'm trying to, if you hold this one up, the sun's not bright right now, but the little babies are in there. Tiny little babies. What is, what is it? This what is kind the of? Wilk egg casing. Is it I'm could assuming it be lightning well? I'm assuming this lightning area well probably. This area. All right, I'm going to go put all them back in. Well, hurry up. Look at that. What is that? I don't know. Uh, the, is it part of one of those helmet shells? Or a cavalry? It looks like it. Not too sure about that. But we're just chilling out. Got a little rainstorm coming over here in the background. Just stopped by another beach to check out with you guys, show you what we found here. The family's been snorkeling and playing. The babies are having a wonderful time. And me and the guys, we're just kind of hanging out under the back of the expedition. Just chilling out, right out. Yeah, me too. And back at blind pass when we parked there it was five dollars per hour five dollars per hour and we we estimated that we were going to be there you know four hours so we had three vehicles and we spent sixty dollars to park there for four hours we left their hour early and we stopped right here this causeway and this is free parking if any of you guys looking for a place to come free parking might be a little better for your situation and they the water is very clear here uh great for snorkeling we're yet to see well we did see um somebody catch a small fish right down here but that's about it busy area through here though it's a nice place man says that a crab came and bit his toe crab bit your toe oh my goodness a crab did that, Odie? Yeah. That was a real crab. A real crab? Yeah. What kind what kind is a real crab? It was from claws. He had big claws or was it a little claw and he could just pinch real hard? It was a big claw. Big? Yeah. Show me how big with your hands, like. Oh god, he had to be huge. Man. I'm glad he didn't get my toe like that. Let me see it one more time. Make sure it's okay. Oh, goodness. Man, you think we might need to take you to the doctor, Odie? What you think, buddy? You want to go to the doctor? You do? Get it, get it checked out? Dr. Chavis will be on call this afternoon. <laughs> Christopher's threw out a pin fish out here, and he's hooked up on a fish. Let's see what he's got. What you think it is, Chris? I think it's a small shark. A shark? Like a spinner Did shark. he jump? Yeah. He's right out there that he ain't far. It's a tiny one. It's it okay. Real big. Something to look at. Something to take a look at. Another fish right down here in Florida.
He's a beauty. Look like a little black tip. Yeah. Wow, he's a beauty. Good day. Thank goodness Nathan caught that fish for us. Good job, Nathan. Yep, Nathan got caught a fish. Isn't that bad. the first shark to go trip? First shark to go trip. Got the hook yes. Looks like a black tip. There you go, Chris. No, go ahead. Let the kids play with him or whatever. Look at them. <laughs> Are you ain't never held a shark. Let me hold Come on, man. Hold on, hey, point that way. I got some pictures on my phone of Nathan holding the shark now. Handshake, but let's let Nathan release him. Yeah, Nathan. Let me touch him. Let me touch him. Look him in the water a little bit. Let him get some air. All right, put him in the water a second. Let him get some water for a second. There we go. Get him close up on the dam. Oh, he's gone. Watch out behind you, Chris. <laughs> he's, he's still right there. Me. Look, he's still right there. He's, he's, he's coming towards toward you. you. <laughs> he's still so with him. Let me see. I want to see. Oh, dang. Is that a shark? Is that a shark? Uh, uh, we call, they call it a shark. Oh, they call it a shark. Did you see that shark your dad caught? Yeah. Was it a good one? Yeah. How big was it? You show me with your hands. I know. Okay. Look what I just found. What is that? Fossilized rock. This thing is probably older than mankind. Hey, hey, let me see that. It's cool. Fossilized rock. That's a great time down here in Florida this week. Oh yeah. Beautiful time. Catching all the fish, being at the beach, playing with all these children. Got little, got little thing down there. Hand me that other bag. Like I sit in this chair. Here's his stuff. What you got to say about it, Emma? Fast. Go, Olivia. Go over there and do a dance off. You got something you need to say? What you tell them people of salty reflections? What? Say, watch more videos. Watch more time with the kids, watch more videos, and be on the ocean. Yeah. Living the life. Living the dream. Living the good life. Bring that old mud yeah. up here, girlfriend. That he's finding squid on the bottom. That must be somebody dropped their bait or something. I don't think so. Well, it ain't moving, it's dead. I think they just dying and washing up here. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. I guess you wanted to show me this. So some sort of sea slug. We've been seeing these all day while we were snorkeling around. They're all over the bottom in the grass. I'm not sure if it's a sea hare or a type of, type of sea slug. And it is leaving this um, gel. But they, the kids have been, enjoyed watching them and playing with them. Make sure you put it back in the water now so it can breathe while you watch it. And then mom had this in her bag that I took back out. Told her this one was alive. It's actually a double. And I believe it is, it is still alive. It's stuck together. So we're going to swim that a little further back out. Sanibel Lighthouse right there. We've been over there the last day or so with you guys. There's all kind of little things swimming around and crawling around in these grasses. You been having a good time, Emma? Oh yeah. Cookie monster. Chicken nugget. <laughs> That's chicken nugget. 
Yeah. Look at there. Oh, look at it. It's opening. You see it opening? Look. You see its little eyes? I see like a few little eyes. Oh, I'm glad my finger wasn't in there because it just smacked shut. All right. It's ready to be put back in the deeper water. Make sure you come along on that next adventure now. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it right there. This is a big salty family and we're inviting you on our adventures. Give me a thumbs up, Odie. Right out here to my nephew, he's uh, in a little small uh, kayak, and he is hooked up on some type of fish here. And he, we were back at the house, we were, we were getting ready to eat something and everything. He's like calling us up, and he's like, "Hey, a shark's pulling us out here to sea, pulling me out to sea. I need your help." So guess what we do? We jump in the boat, we come out here. To see what's going on. Now let's see what he's got going on. Stay up back there. And I have just like a little, a little catfish, right? So I hooked on this. And I put him back there. And I hooked on to something. And that thing broke all the way out here. And I think it broke off on that. I don't know what the heck happened, but it went off. God, that sounds just like one of them fish stories that I've always been told about my whole life. He was pulling this out of his good face. Could have been a little small brim or something pulling that boat around. I'm telling you, whatever it was had me going good. It's his story and he's sticking to it. Well, at least we got to come out here and see this beautiful sunset right here over the houses of Cape Coral.